All right, welcome into the 541 Fisherman YouTube channel, everybody. As you guys can see, Hayden and myself are out here and we are trying to catch some beautiful Chinook salmon. Now, we have not had any luck as of thus far. I did have, I think Hayden might've got it on camera when we were like way up river a ways. We had like a weird, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it's really weird. Uh, I told you guys we saw somewhere right, actually kind of around right here where we are, a salmon got absolutely destroyed by a sea lion. There's bait fish jumping everywhere. So we are in what looks to be a good area for fishing. So hopefully we can get on some Chinook salmon. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode. All right, everybody. So here's what we got going. So Hayden might have lost the keys. I goobered. So when I went to the bathroom this morning, he left the key because I asked him where the keys at. And then he's like, oh, I don't know. And then I'm like, because I didn't ask him for them. I just figured he would have had them in his pocket or something. So we're going to go back to the boat ramp and hope they're still in the bathroom. So yay, yay. we're going to pull this motor up and go see. So this could turn into a really long day where Ada gets really pissed at me and everything. But I hope that doesn't happen. So stay tuned. Keep you updated. We didn't catch any Chinook. We didn't catch any sturgeon but they're not here they're all the way down the river but there also is nobody fishing down there now so if we do find the keys we could go down there Maybe. but anyways we're gonna, we're gonna we'll, pull your uh, don't pull it up i'm gonna pull it up myself but we'll figure it out so stay tuned see you guys here in just a few minutes All right, everybody. So, Hayden and I got the boat washed. Always make sure you wash your boat before you're done because we're actually going to put the boat into a different water body. So making sure it is washed, cleaned, rinsed out is actually very important before you guys go to another water body. I got to put this hose up. It's still running for some reason. Stay, stay right here. Stay. Okay, well, anyways, you guys can stay right here, but that's gonna run out whenever it decides to run out. But Hayden and I are actually going to jump in the truck. We're going to go to another river. We're going to hopefully catch a couple fish. So stay tuned. We got about probably an hour drive or so to the next river. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Uh, losing the keys was kind of exciting, but all in all, not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the truck, head to the next spot. Stay tuned. What it's are we doing? Shinark. But what are... You can't just be like, we're Chinook fishing. Well, how are we Chinook fishing? Bobber and eggs. Where? Uh, the river. At what the top part of the tide river? Water. Okay, that's what I was asking. Goodness, you're not good at this, dude. All right, ladies. We made it. To our, I guess, second location of the day. Hayden is going to be back in the boat, and he's not going to be leaving the keys this time. So, you guys don't need to see us get the boat unready. We already did that, but we're going to get the boat unready. Drive up river. Go to the top of Tidewater, see if we can catch some Chinook. Because I actually sat out here yesterday for about 15 minutes and I saw... What did I tell you I saw? You saw five I jump yeah, I saw, wake. Yeah, so I saw five fish, confirmed jump, one adult, four jacks, and I saw a bunch of wakes. And I obviously you can't tell what they are when they're waking underwater without glasses. So we are going to just go try to dangle one up, so stay tuned. It looks like it's going to rain. Yeah, I know. It feels like it too. Yeah, it's really windy, windier, a lot windier than it was all the way at the beach so yeah stay tuned we're gonna get this bad boy launch see you guys up there god i hate using bathrooms like that they're always so gross i know that a lot of you guys agree with me on that one those things are nasty well we uh we're down here we're out here we're gonna go fishing so stay tuned see you guys at the fishing spot there's no fish feel like you're five for one that's really cute saves you no money at all just kidding Oh boy. So basically, I don't really know how to explain this, but this trip kind of turned into a scouting trip, you could say. And so basically at this point in time, Hayden and I are actually going back to the boat ramp, but we are going to go fish a third river, not today, but on Saturday, we are going to go, well, next Saturday, we are going to go fish another river and see if we can go dangle up a dang salmon. And it is still early September, so I... I don't really have a whole lot of hope for it, but we will see what we can do. And uh, you got anything else to say? Not really. Yeah, basically we'll end up seeing you guys in a week 
Um, I figured, you know, we actually did get a lot of really good content today. So I figured might as well show you guys kind of, sometimes it's just really as tough. I don't know if, I think this probably came out after the reality of salmon fishing video that I made, but it, this is the reality of salmon fishing. It's like, you just, I don't know. Is this zoomed out all the way? There. But it's like the, the reality of salmon fishing is you don't always catch salmon. Like this is the, it's going to be the third river that we fished. So yeah, stay tuned. And, uh, I guess we'll see you guys next Saturday. So hopefully you guys see this. Obviously if you guys see this video, then we end up catching a fish next Saturday. But if you guys don't ever see this, then you don't ever see it. <laughs> so stay tuned. See you guys next Saturday. So Hayden and I ended up not catching any fish and we've gone out on like three different fishing adventures. So basically the point of the next part of this video is going to be why you should take your wife fishing. And I know that sounds really weird because I know a lot of people, you know, they make like a little special trip here and there, but what ends up happening is girls are just good luck. I don't know why, but like a lot of the time when I take Ada fishing, I end up catching amazing fish. The videos always just do so much better. So I figured, heck, let's take the boat out and let's go see if we can get a salmon. Now Ada has actually never caught a salmon bobber fishing before. So that's what we ended up doing, which I'm going to show you guys that clip here in just a second. It was pretty freaking crazy if I do say so myself. And when you take your wife fishing, it's just a different experience. Like you're out there with your family and I don't know it. you're with the person that you care about the most. So it always just ends up being a really good time. And, uh, yeah, we ended up having a really good time. So let's go ahead and roll on with this clip. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Shallow up. Look at that. Freaking, it's not herring. Yeah, shallow up. You want me to do it? Yeah, the shitty thing about this spot is like when you mend your line, it just drags you out of the fish. They're all still down there. They don't go very far. <gasps> set, the, set the hook. Set the hook. You got him? Yeah. Devin, what do I do? Reel him in. Baby. I am. Oh gosh, she's going right in the thing. In the what? In the bushes. <laughs> How do you fight? Yep, just now reel down. Gentle. Don't pull too hard on him. Ada got a fish. I'm going to record on the big camera. Oh, on my own. Yeah, I told you. I was like, set the hook. <laughs> I thought it was just because I was mending my line. No, it went under. He oh grabbed it. Yeah, keep the rod tip up. I wish I could. I can't really see. But baby, what just happened? Uh, look at the look at the camera. Look at the camera. Talk to us. And then it just freaking flew. So yeah, Ada's got a Chinook on. Yep, don't let your line go slack. Yep, make sure you reel them in. Keep them tight. Well, I'm struggling. Ooh, it's a Cromer. It's a Cromer fish. It's a nice salmon. Oh, keep them tight, keep them Sorry. tight. I don't want him to pull too hard. He won't pull too hard. <laughs> it's not a super, super huge one, but it is a nice fish. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, reel him over here. Turn the rod to, like, towards me. I want to net him on this side of the boat here. It's hard, he's going or, to this side. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just... Here he comes. Get him, get him. I am, right here. Hurry. It's a nice fish. It's a chromer. Well, yeah. What do I do? Just pull him up, gentle though. Then let him run. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, we got one. <laughs> you have one, then like lift your rod. Okay. Yep, lift towards me, towards me. That's a nice fish. Nice to look. Can we take a picture? Is it a... Is it a lady? I don't know. I think it is a hen. Okay, well, let's kill it then. Yeah you, it. Might, yeah, you might as well keep it. I'll tag it if it's a hen. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Does that mean I'm limited out? No, you can keep two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I had a great time filming it. I know that Ada had a great time filming it as well. Hayden and I, obviously we went on a few fishing adventures and we came up empty handed every single time, but that doesn't mean that it's, you know, 
for a loss, you could say. It's still a good time. You're still out enjoying yourself. It just proves that salmon fishing isn't always easy. So you guys can tell in this video, I clearly didn't catch a salmon in Ada did. So it just shows you that on any given moment in time, you can take any of your friends, your family, your wife, whatever you want, your kids out fishing, and they can have a good time. You could have a good time. So with that, I just want to tell you guys, try something different. Take your family out, take your friends out, just have a good time fishing, go out, go enjoy it. It's not always about catching fish and taking fish home. There is so much more to the experience than just, you know, keeping a fish and taking it home. You know, we're only allowed X amount of fish a year, you can go catch and release more fish. You know, you can go have a good time. You can see the beauty of all of it. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure. Until next time, peace out, everybody.